We're here at the AC Milan Junior Camps. We're going to be looking at kick-ups. Um, now, a lot of you are probably thinking, kick-ups, that's just for showboating. What's that got to do with football? That's just for showboating. But kick-ups are important for more than just showboating. There's three main things that we're going to be looking at. First thing is coordination. What's the first thing? Coordination! The second thing is technique. What's the second thing? Technique! And the third thing is confidence. What's the third thing? Confidence! Excellent. Right, okay. So the first thing we're going to be looking at Louis, if you can come out here. Probably the easiest way to start learning kick-ups is this. This is probably the easiest way. You give it a bounce, and you kick the ball up, and you catch it. Bounce, kick the ball up, and catch it. Now, Louis, there's one main thing you want to remember, and it's the part of the foot that you want to use. You don't want to use the inside of your foot. You don't want to use the outside of your foot. You want to use your shoelace. What do you want to use? What do you want to use? Shoelace! Excellent. So you're going to be kicking the ball with this so, can you give me five kick-ups with a bounce and a catch? Come on, Louis. One, two, three, four. Five. Give him a clap. High five, Louis. Excellent. Okay, so, that's probably the easiest way to start learning to improve your kick-ups. Next up, once you master the bounce and the kick-up, you're looking at doing it without, without any bounces. So, more like that. Now the important thing to remember with this thing, with this technique, is not to kick the ball too high. The higher you kick the ball, the harder it is to control. Okay, so you want to keep the ball quite low. Okay, Dylan, out you come, out you come. All I'm looking for is roughly five kick-ups without a bounce with your right foot. You reckon you got that? Show me. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. I'll give you that, I'll give you that. Well done Dylan, give me five. Excellent. Okay, so that's probably the next progression. And then lastly, once you master doing kick-ups with one foot, you're looking at doing it with two foot, two feet, using different parts of your body, like your knees, your head, whatever. So, both feet, maybe a few knees, just like that. And we're gonna have Zidane to come and demonstrate this one. Zidane, out you come. So all I want you to do is just give me roughly 10, maybe 10 kick-ups using any parts of your body and both feet. Let's go. Go on. Tonight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. Give me five. And that was kick-ups. Go home, practice, see how many you can do.